Hi there. Welcome back to Simon Says. My name is Simon, and today we're going to talk to you about this awesome device, the Curtain Bot from SwitchBot. This is an amazing way to automate your curtains. And the other thing we're going to talk about is the SwitchBot remote, which allows you to have a switch or a button on the wall to open and close your curtains, as well as the smart home integration into Home Assistant. Let's see what it's all about. So let's have a look at the SwitchBot curtain. Now, just remember when you order this, you need to have a look what type of curtain rail you've got because there are three different types that you can choose from. So just make sure to check that out first. So um, if you have a look at this, I've ordered the one for the U-Rail because mine has got a rail like this where the bot actually slides up inside the rail. So that's the one that I've ordered. Now, if we have a look at this, it works along with the remote. So I'm going to show you how that works. We've got that over here and that can be used to open and close them from a wall switch. Okay, And we're also going to connect it up to the hub mini. Because if you want to use it with the remote control, you need to have the Bob Mini as well. Um, so I'm going to show you how that all fits together. And then I'm going to show you how it works with Home Assistant. So let's open up this box and see what we've got inside here. All right. So we've got a SwitchBot symbol card. Okay. Showing you what type of curtain it's for. We've got the little installation guide showing you how to set it all up. We've got a USB-C charging cable. Okay. And this is quite long, so it's able, enabling you to plug it in and charge it without removing it from the curtain rail. If you look at that, it's about a definitely over a meter. I'm not sure how long, but over a meter. Now, here we've got the curtain bot itself. And once again, this was smaller than what I was expecting, which is really great because you don't want a huge device sitting up in your curtain so that's the bot itself okay then we've got the other little arm that's going to connect it to the curtain so the way that i connected mine was i took these two off i slid the first one in okay then i clipped that on so that the little wheel was pressing up on the underside of the rail and then i slid the other one so you slide them in and you turn them so i slid that in and I locked it in place, and there we go. Now, if you look at the other side over here, we've got our little button. So if we press that, if we press it for two seconds, it will start flashing and go into pairing mode. Um, and if you need to reset it, you hold it for 15 seconds to reboot it. There's your USB charging C button. And if we look here, we've got a few other little accessories in case it doesn't fit with your curtain rail. Uh, with my curtain rail, it fitted perfectly fine, so I didn't need to use that at all. Okay, so let's have a look at how we get this all connected up. All right, so let's see how we connect this up using the SwitchBot app. So we go plus over here, and it'll scan for devices. Now what we need to do is press the little button for two seconds. Here we go, it goes into pairing mode, and you see there it's already picked up the curtain. We go next, okay, connecting to your device, so that shouldn't take long. All right, there we go. So the curtain that I'm using is going to be opening from one side, so we go like that. If you had two, you would then go opening from the middle. So mine's just a single curtain that goes across the window. We go next, it's given it a name, so that's great, and we go next. All right, so this is now showing you how to connect it up. Um, we're going to skip that now. Um, the one I've done is the U-Rail, so I'll show you quickly what it shows there. Um, U-Rail, there we go, installation guide. So you can go to the little picture guide. So you'll see there, fully close your curtain and then detach the end from the track. Okay, and then slide the one into the rail and then slide the other and clip it on. It's relatively straightforward. And then make sure that the little SwitchBot logo is facing forwards towards the inside of the room. Okay, 
So that's how easy it is to install. Now we're going to go to calibration. So what we do is we now install this, okay, as we've discussed, and then confirm that it is facing towards the inside, okay, and then we do start calibration. So we press that, and we need to decide is it opening from the left or the right. So mine is opening from the left. So I'll go there, calibration, and what we do now is we move it to the right first of all. So we want to move it to the um, fully open position. Okay, so we're going to go to the right. So there we go. And we just wait until it goes all the way across. Um, and once it reaches the position it is, then you go pause and you go next. Now you need to go fully closed. So now we're going to close it. We're going to wait for it to go all the way over and close. Here we go. And we go next. Okay. Now it's saying just check it. So go to the fully open position. To the fully closed position. Now one thing I did notice on this, even though it said my curtain was on the left, the calibration is actually showing it on the right. So I'm not sure why that is, but I just moved my curtain to the other side and that worked fine. So we go finish and there we go. It's all set up and ready to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect the little button as well. So we're going to go here and we're going to go plus again. It's going to search for devices. Okay. There's my little remote button. Long press both keys for two seconds. So let's press that for two seconds. And there we go. Next. There we go. It's connecting to the device. Okay. And next. All right. So both those are set up. Now this button's quite nice. It's really nicely built. It's got a little holding mounting bracket. You can put it on the wall. If you look at that, it's quite neat. Uh, you can open it up like that to replace the battery. It's just got a button cell. And you've got two buttons. You've got a one with a depressed area, a dented in area, and one with a convey, conca concave and convex, whatever they are. So you've got two buttons. So you can have an open button and a closed button. So it works perfectly with the curtains. So if we look here now, okay, if we need to program this in with my curtains, we need to link the button. Um, now remember, you do need to have the um, the hub connected to make this work. Uh, you'll see in my previous video, it shows you all about the hub and how to connect it. So now we go action set and we select the curtain, okay, and fully open, okay, we save it. And then the other action, we're going to go curtain again, and we're going to go fully closed. So there we go. The action is now set. So now we can take our button. We can collect one way and it will open the curtain all the way till it reaches the end. And the other way, we can close the curtain until it reaches the end. So there we go. All set. Now what we need to do is get this into Home Assistant. So let's go along here. All right. Let's have a look at how it integrates into Home Assistant. So we just go down here. Settings, Devices and Services, Add Integration, and we select SwitchBot, SW. There we go. And SwitchBot. Uh, do you want to set up the curtain so it already knows that the curtain is there and all online? Submit. Select our area. And there we go. Easy as that. So we can now take our curtain and we can say open, stop, close. So there we go, fully integrated and it's even bringing in the light level. So this is really cool. We can now take our light levels from the device because it's got a little sensor in there and we can say we can run automations based on the light levels. So that's really cool because that will actually pick up how much light there it is and open the curtains for you when the lights come on when the when the sunlight comes out uh, we can also see our battery level so that's awesome 
um, so we can check there and see exactly what's happening with the battery. So I must say, big shout out to uh, SwitchBot for providing me with this product so that I could test it and show it to you guys. And this is a super awesome product. I will leave a link in the description below and you do get a 10% discount if you click on that link. Anyway, that's all for me now. Have a great day. Bye then.